I recently picked up a new Sony action camera after unceremoniously losing my GoPro at the bottom of a lake last year. We put it through its paces this week, testing slow-mo and shock absorption. As you can see, Zero is already a big fan of a new target to aim for, as he continues his quest to jump over the moon. As for landing, well, the camera doesn't help with that. But the real reason I bought the camera is for nice, quiet, wide-angle landscape shots. Just kidding, it's 100% for the dogs to crash into, and Zero remains eager for me to get the most for my money. As you can see, Zero shows how the camera can capture his vertical energy. Penny kindly demonstrates it can just as nicely capture her horizontal kinetic explosions. Now I get to enjoy beach battles twice. Once in real time, and once more in slow-mo. Capturing all the flying sand and teeth. As an added bonus, it's also a helpful way to check on my assistant back there. But we got to thinking, why does Zero get to have all the fun jumping and discovering buried treasure? Yep, those are some sweet shades he dug up. But like I said, Link and I voted it was high time we put our high flyer to work. Instead of flying after Zero with the camera, we set it up so the camera can fly with him. We ran a number of test flights. And for how bouncy Zero is, the camera and rig strapped in pretty well for these point of view shots. Plus, with Zero working the camera, my hands were freed up to just pet my dogs and enjoy a front row seat to the show. With the warmer weather coming up, we should have plenty of opportunities to get more fun shots with the new rig. Of course, this is all contingent I managed to not lose it at the bottom of a lake this time. I'm not holding my breath, but I'll do my best to hold the camera. 